sites before the Sheikh Isa bin Salman Bridge, including 400 meters on either side of the highway. The residents of this area should coordinate with the checkpoints to facilitate officially their movement. Gatherings, rallies, demonstrations and sit-ins are not allowed anywhere in the Kingdom of Bahrain until the situation is back to normal. All citizens and residents must cooperate fully with the checkpoints for the sake of their safety. Anyone who violates these measures will face the appropriate legal action. This was a statement issued by the Bahrain Defense Forces. And uh, I'll just like to uh, brief our viewers that this morning, in the early hours of the morning, the uh, Gulf Cooperation Council roundabout was uh, cleared. Uh, and um, we will bring you some pictures and footage that we have taken from the roundabout. The, the roundabout was cleared. The Salmania Hospital has been evacuated. Hostages have been evacuated from the Salmania Hospital. And um, the pictures probably that we will bring you will show you how the evacuation of the roundabout took place. Uh, it were, people were walking in a very calm manner. People uh, and the calmness of people just showed how the uh, police dealt with the situation there. Uh, at 6.30 in the morning, the police forces walked towards uh, the roundabout. Enough time was given for people to evacuate. Um, the pictures that we will bring you will show how this took place, of course. Uh, some uh, demonstrators, some saboteurs who were at the roundabout set some tents on fire, um, aimed uh, at uh, um, either disrupting the work of the uh, police forces or um, uh, this followed this was followed by the uh, army taking position at the roundabout and now i'd like to bring the attention our viewers to uh, some facts here um, uh, many uh, channels many international channels that we've been viewing have been saying conflicting reports to what we are reporting here uh, what we are reporting here i just like to advise people uh, at this time uh, not to listen to rumors the facts that we are bringing to you can be seen through the footage that we will uh, show you in a while uh, i'd like to remind our viewers that um, salmania at the time of the arrival of the uh, police forces. Salmania hospital entrance was blocked by two ambulances, but uh, this was cleared. 17 tents that were obstructing the entrance of the emergency unit to Salmania hospital were also removed all in peaceful manners. Joining me now, joining us now is Dr. Abdul Majid Al Awadi, the Chief Executive of the uh, Electricity and Water Authority. Dr. Abdul Majid, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Dr. Abdul Majid, maybe you can give us an insight into what's happening today. Our viewers uh, have their concerns about the current situation.